Magnets are fascinating. They're possibly the closest thing to the force we will come across, being able to push and pull objects without even touching them. However, if you pour iron filings over a magnet, you can reveal the normally invisible magnetic field. And in fact, it looks very similar to the electric field we got when we had a negative and a positive charge together. And this is because a magnet always consists of a positive and a negative pole connected together. At these poles, the field is the strongest, and this means the iron filings can show some of the 3D nature of the field. But why does this happen? There are two main types of magnetism. There are permanent magnets, and there are electromagnets. However, both of them owe their magnetism to electrons. Let's start with permanent magnets. Here we have an electron. Because of its quantum properties, it's actually kind of like a tiny bar magnet. Electrons around a nucleus in an atom usually pair up so their magnetic fields cancel out. However, some elements such as iron have unpaired electrons around their nucleus. These unpaired electrons in adjacent atoms tend to line up with one another. These sections are called domains. However, domains are usually very small and each domain points in a random direction. So overall, there is no magnetic field. However, if an external field is applied to this material, the domains that are in parallel with the field expand and all the others shrink. This means when you take away the external field, the material is still producing a net field which is the same as the one it was in. And thus you have created a permanent magnet. Electromagnets are usually coiled wire like this though they sometimes have an iron core as well. Electromagnets work off the basis that electricity and magnetism are fundamentally related. And I have a neat little demonstration to show you this. I have here a small but powerful neodymium magnet and a conductive but non-magnetic pure copper pipe. And if I combine the two in real time, well, that was weird. What happened? While the copper rod is not magnetic, it is an electrical conductor. And when a magnet moves past a conductor, it sets up a current in the conductor. And a current is just a moving charge. And when you have a moving charge, you produce a magnetic field. So the magnet moving past the conductor creates an electric field. This electric field creates another magnetic field. And the second magnetic field is in the opposite direction to the magnetic field that created it i.e. as the magnet falls down, the magnetic field pushes it back up, slowing it down. And the second stages of this is how electromagnets work. You set up a moving current, and this current produces a magnetic field. And the reason you use a coil is because it's the highest concentration of ordered current you can get into a single bit of space. And the reason you use an iron core is to make the magnet stronger. Because when you apply the initial electromagnetic field to the iron, the iron also becomes a magnet, and the two magnetic fields combine into one stronger magnetic field. If you've watched all the way, you must be quite interested, so click here and subscribe for more videos every week.